Welcome to the body imaging cases. This is a young man with upper abdominal pain and jaundice. CT revealed a multilocular cyst of the left lobe consistent with echinococcal cyst. It showed also enhancement of the gallbladder wall, but no other signs that may explain the clinically evident jaundice. ERCP showed displacement of the bile ducts by the left lobe lesion and showed two other important signs. First, the extravasation of contrast agent outside the bile ducts. Here is a magnified view. It is clear that the contrast medium lines do not fit with the ramifications of the bile ducts and therefore they are most probably extravasations. The second important observation is the focal dilatation of one bile duct very close to the cyst which contains also tiny filling defects. This is a magnified view showing the dilated duct in the vicinity of the cyst and the small filling defects within its lumen. So putting things together, this could be rupture of the hydatid cyst into the bile ducts. Therefore, the contrast medium is leaking inside the spaces of the cyst on one hand and on the other hand the contents of the cyst the tiny contents of the cyst like the scolices or the sandy batch are going inside the bile ducts and these are probably responsible for the obstructive jaundice as they will cause transient obstruction of the bile duct The patient was taken immediately from the ERCP room to the CT and CT was performed showing the contrast medium within the hydatid cyst and proving that this hydatid cyst has ruptured into the bile ducts. Note also the presence of some products of the cysts within the gallbladder. Diagnosis is uh, echinococcal cyst rupture in one of the bile ducts. And the learning points are echinococcal cysts may rupture in the intrahepatic bile ducts. The presence of jaundice in a patient with hepatic echinococcal cyst raises the suspicion of rupture of the cysts in the bile ducts. The cause of jaundice is the repeated transient obstruction of the bile ducts by the passage of the small constituents of the cysts. ERCP and post-ERCP CT may provide the definite diagnosis in these cases.